Sandy Shuttle. This is Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago, after the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. To keep the Krogan from becoming a threat. Makes sense. Couldn't trust the Krogan to play nice. But right now we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th Platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant. Move to cover. Once we reach the bomb, I'll need to reprogram the trigger mechanism. Krogan rebellions were before my time, but I can't comprehend the need for this. While morally questionable, the strategy is sound. <clears throat> Copy that. 
Copy that. I'm getting a lot of servers radio chatter. They're prepping for evac. I don't like the sound of that. Cerberus is leaving. We'll have a better view up the ramp. Agreed. Let's go. so long. It must have been far enough underground to stay hidden. Cerberus had to dig it out. It must have been strategically placed for maximum yield. I advise haste, Commander. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. With Cerberus evacuating, the bomb should be clear. Cerberus will re-engage its troops if we pose a threat to the bomb. Looks like control schematics for automated turrets. No good now, but they might be useful later. The original safeguards are no match for current technology. We need to hurry. I'm at the control panel, Commander. Cerberus set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. I put my team at risk to get you here, Lieutenant. You better deliver. I know what's at stake, Commander. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Shepard blocking access. All units engaged. Nobody gets past us. Clear? Clear!
Two more shuttles. Almost there. Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to that. Disarm it! No time! I have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now! Cover me! Victory at any cost. Chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. You get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. I can't count the times I've watched friends risk everything for a cause. To see the Lieutenant die for us. For his platoon, it hits close to home. Winning this war will have a high price. I agree. The losses are unfortunate, Shepard. But preserving the peace between Turians and Krogan could prevent the deaths of millions. I know, Edie. But right now, I just don't give a damn about politics. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb? They moved in. Won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Heck it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey.
The Reapers are out there destroying the galaxy, and you want to fight about this. Primark, you had a bomb on Tachanka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <clears throat> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. You kept this a secret and then put your son in charge? He couldn't handle it. Yes. You're right, Commander. It was a mistake not to trust you. I know that now. My son... He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir. I had a buddy who got discharged. Category six after Eden Prime. At six? Damn. Well, if I'd been on Eden Prime, I'd have lost it too. He fought it, said he was still fit for duty. Last thing he told me was that he was joining Cerberus. You've got new... I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Uh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, Trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. Not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Commander? You gotta love the Turians. After they beat you down and sterilize you, they strap a big old bomb to your planet. You know, just in case you get uppity again someday. I'm just glad we disarmed it. Damn right. The Krogan are pretty tough. I'd rather it be Reaper asses getting kicked and not ours. What's new, Edie? Admiral Anderson reports that the Reapers on Earth are broadcasting orders. They are demanding human leaders into their superstructures in order to negotiate peace. Anybody aboard a Reaper's gonna be indoctrinated. Exactly. This is a ruse to pacify the populace during that process. Citizens who are busy waiting are not busy fighting. It is likely that the governments of Earth will soon enact laws punishing those who attack the Reaper occupiers. Again, this will be done in the name of peace. Tell Anderson we're moving as fast as we can.
Have we found any new engineers for the Crucible Glyph? Five Exonax Industries scientists who attempted to reverse engineer Prothean technology stolen from planet Garvuk. They are technically still wanted by the Council for hiding Prothean technology. As well, Sonax is part in instigating an illegal war on Garvuk. I'm sure the Council will forgive that for helping with the Crucible. Extend those scientists amnesty and an invitation. Right away. Working on anything? I'm helping decode some of the Crucible's designs, or trying to. Theoretical particle physics based on specialized base 12 mathematics aren't exactly my specialty. And Javik is his usual forthcoming self. I'd trade my last hundred years to resurrect even one Prothean scientist to help us. I've never seen Krogan move with such purpose. It's a little terrifying. At your service. I heard what happened. Sounds like Lieutenant Tarquin never hesitated. He didn't. Well, whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. Sacrifice among my people is expected. But saying that, he did us proud. I don't know what Turian came up with the idea, but a doomsday bomb was damned ingenious. Embarrassing now, but ingenious back then. Shepard, Eve ready for travel to Tuchanka. Nice talking with you, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. Continuing to study Shroud in meantime. Breaking now, the Arcturus station destroyed and the Alliance Parliament feared dead. But Admiral Stephen Hackett says the fleets can regroup. We'll hear it from him right here in the battle space. Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Durian. You are cunning. Uh-huh. Then by addition, do you mean slave race? Subservient race. Right. Calling it that makes all the difference. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes, nothing struggles, nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. There is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. His knowledge of war is formidable, though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. think about when we were abducted by... No, I don't. Me neither. My board is green. Hey, Commander. You see that Krogan female? Huh? 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 Up close and personal. I think the male's got the pretty gene. I'll talk to you later. You bet. <laughs> 